Okay, in this screencast we're going to take a look at how to make a very simple, single purpose, um, collaborative space for primary students and around an inquiry on being healthy. So I've just gone to, in, logged into Ultranet and gone down to the global navigation bar to the Glo collaborative learning icon, clicked on that and now I'm going up to the add collaborative learning space button so that I can create the space. And the intention with this space is that it doesn't incorporate every piece of learning around a unit. This is just the one activity that we'd like students to do at the beginning of a unit. And um, we can always add more pages and activities to the space as the unit draws on. So now that we have the um, dialog box here for creating a collaborative space, we can see that it has um, two asterisks there and that indicates that those fields are compulsory. So I'm going to put in a, a name for this unit and I'll just call it a sample um, primary space around being healthy. And I need to put a description in there so I'm going to put a, a space for say let's say grade um, it's probably a 3-4 type space. So grade 3-4s to learn about staying healthy. That's probably enough to be writing. Now because we would want our students to be able to easily access the space, I'm going to make it open to start off with. And probably once my students had been had joined the space, I would then close the space up or make it restricted. So I'm just going to copy the word healthy there from there because I want that to be the tag for the space. Staying with the blank um, template there, I'll just click the save button to save our space. Okay, now to, to reach my space I need to click on the collaborative learning spaces I own tab and then that space that I've created will appear as I scroll down here. So there's the, the name of the space that I created, sample primary space, being healthy. It's an open space and at the moment I'm the only person that's in that space. So if I just click on that, we take into the space and we're ready to put in some applications for students to use. So here we are on the home page of our Being Healthy space and we need to add some applications to that. To go down to the global navigation bar and into the actions menu we have add applications and that will bring up our applications menu. Now the first application that I'm going to add is one called page comments. So if I just begin to write that page comments appears and I can add that into the space. So I'll just drag that across and here we have the page comments application. Now it's somewhat like micro blogging and it allows the students in the class to add their comments answering a, a question. And the question that we're going to ask our students is what healthy foods are in their lunchbox? Because we're using this as a way of accessing their prior knowledge around what is healthy, um, what kind of healthy foods do they, do they currently um, have in their lunchbox and what are they aware of about the, the aspects of healthy food. So we'll put that question in there. Just click on the, um, the text box there and we can change to the question that we are asking. So what healthy foods, we'll probably need to spell it right, what healthy foods are in your lunchbox? And now that application is actually ready for our students to put an answer in. And we probably need to also add an application that will allow us to put in some instructions. And the, the text box type application is one called publication display. So if I just start to type that, here's publication display, click and drag and pop that application right here. Now publication display will allow me to add the instructions. So if I just click on the add publication button at the bottom, I could get the um, dialog box and I can just give this a name. So I'm just going to call this one instructions for accessing prior knowledge um, on being healthy. So that's what this um, publication display is about. And in here I can start to put in the text. So just scroll down a bit. And the first thing I want to tell children is that they need to write about uh, the healthy food you have in your lunchbox. That would be the first instruction. I just um, return. I might say, um, tell us what makes 
these foods healthy. And then I might let them know that they can actually make as many comments as they would like. So you can um, add as many comments as you wish. That's probably enough of uh, instructions for our students. So I need to scroll down to the bottom of the application box and click on save and approve so that I can publish this text box. Now I will go in and edit that but I just wanted to make sure that it was saved. So what I need to do now is go back into that application. So I know that um, my questions have been saved, my instructions have been saved, so I'm going to now edit that publication and I'll probably make it look a little nicer, maybe make the colour of the text interesting and the text a little bit bigger I think. Okay, so here's my text. I'm going to um, highlight the text, go up to the font box and decide that I might use Arial and I might make it medium. Mm, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. So I'll just scroll down a little bit and go to large. That's a bit better. And I might center that text. Now I might change the color. So we might make this one maybe a nice purple. Make this one hmm, blue. And let's make the last one um, very positive green. Okay, that's probably enough. All I need to do now is save.